This is the dashboard every tech CEO needs to have. First, the most important thing to look at every day is your performance to plan for the metrics that matter for your business. If you were the CEO of a B2B SaaS company that is mostly sales-led growth, these are gonna be the most important metrics for you. ARR, new business bookings, SQLs or created pipeline, funnel efficiency. In this case, the most important way to measure is going to be from sales qualified lead to closed one and churn. The king of all SaaS metrics is ARR. This is the most important metric that drives your company's valuation and should be the North Star KPI for your entire business. Most importantly, we're going to want to be looking at net change in ARR. After all of your new business, expansion, contraction, and churn, what is the net increase to the annual recurring revenue of your business? This is the most important metric for your business and it's really important to have a clear line of sight of how that net change in ARR is increasing over time. The biggest driver of your net change in ARR is likely to be new business bookings. And this is also the most costly part of your plan. So it's extremely important to keep a really close eye on performance to goal for this metric. There are a lot of ways to segment your new business bookings. However, the most important way to look at this is segmenting it by rep. So taking a look at which reps are performing the best and bringing in the most new business is gonna be the best way to break this one down. You'll see a really clear, easy to see graph of the new bookings per month compared to the goal and then overall goal for the year. The number one leading indicator for success to plan for B2B SaaS companies is created pipeline. With the average sales cycle landing between 30 and 120 days, by looking at your created pipeline, you should have a really good idea of what your forecast should look like for the next quarter or two. You have to make sure that you're creating enough pipeline early enough to hit those future bookings goals. The most important way to break down this metric is going to be by marketing channel or lead source to make sure you know exactly where your pipeline's coming from and the most efficient channels you have. The silent killer of any SaaS company is going to be churn. If you don't have a really tight handle on how much churn your business can handle and exactly forecasting where that's gonna happen, it can quickly get out of hand as you grow and scale. Notice that I'm not talking about net retention rate as the key metric here. Often you can bury churn problems with aggressive expansion and upsells that often turn into future churn down the line anyway. Keep a really close eye on your gross churn metric and understand how much you can budget for churn and then break this down by reason so you know why customers are churning. Are you targeting a market that is not economically viable and you often find people going out of business or not able to afford your product? Are you running into customers that are going to competitors or are there any issues with your product or service that are causing customers to cancel? For a sales-led B2B SaaS company, the funnel metric you are going to want to relentlessly track is your sales qualified lead to close one conversion rate. Make sure you understand exactly how long it takes to go from the second a rep opens up an opportunity to that deal turning into a closed one customer. Then track how many of those opportunities end up turning into closed one deals. You can and should absolutely track the conversion rates from other aspects of your go-to-market lifecycle. However, this is going to give you the most reliable data and be the strongest indicator in your future forecast. If you're a CEO in tech, this is the dashboard you need to run your business and hit your future growth goals. If you want access to this sample dashboard, click the link in the description.